One thing that's been on my heart is uh, the statements that Bernard made where he'll decide if I'm going to finish or if I should continue boxing. He don't decide that. Oscar's saying that, you know, we, we misinterpret. It's plain English. I, I didn't hear anybody speaking any language I don't know. It's very clear to me that, you know, they're backing this guy to beat me. It's all BS. I'm going to box my ass off for a team that don't even believe in me. But damn, they'll collect that money that I'm making them, though. Yeah, shut up. When you're dealing with kids, it's really hard to to get across that message. When you don't do what people want you to do, at times they take you as like a brat. I'm their biggest fighter and they're talking shit about me. All I want is for him to be the biggest, the best, but then things that he's said about me or things that he questions me about, like I'm like, whoa. Why did you feel like he was hating? The beef we had after the tank fight kind of resonated. At that time, De La Hoya was left out of the contract negotiation. I don't know where he's at because they don't let me talk to him. What do you mean they don't let you talk to him? His manager? Probably. Ryan's wanted this fight for many, many years. Davis's team and, and myself, you know, we just made it happen. It hurts. I like Ryan, man. And I took him under my wing and everything, and you know, and then he grew to this different level, you know, and he has his own people and this and that. If I personally would have negotiated that tank Ryan fight, first of all, it wouldn't have happened. Why not? Because of the rehydration clause. The first time ever in the back room, I said to myself, I'm losing this fight. Oh, you said you knew? Mm -hmm. Nothing's going right. I'm so weak. You felt it? Yeah, because when I was hitting the mitts, nothing was coming off sharp, and I was like, okay. I'm weak for a reason, obviously. Right. I was saying dehydrated. And yeah. I was literally handicapped. This is not an excuse. This is the truth. What do you feel went wrong for Ryan? You saw a superior Tank Davis. He had the perfect game plan, but obviously the, the weight draining was a big issue. Things would only sour from there. After the fight, nobody was there for me. Like, my team but just didn't come to the press conference. They ain't gonna do nothing, you know what I mean? Bro, it, it was the worst. It's been almost two months, and you're still crying about the post-presser. The blame for your loss is on you and your advisor, Lupe. He is the only one who pushed you to accept that insane rehydration clause, and that is the reason you lost. Okay, buddy, you got it all figured out. Tired of you disrespecting my whole career and you think none of it matters. After that, Ryan and Lupe sent a legal letter to Golden Boy stipulating breaches of contract on their part. Golden Boy would strike back. We are suing him, uh, you know, to honor his contract. All fighters want to think that they, they're in charge of their career outside the ring and what what needs to be honored is he trying to break out of the contract is he trying to end the relationship no 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 i mean just just honor your contract that's it you have obligations right garcia's team replicated with a lawsuit of their own is there a part of you in your mind that thought like you'll never fight with him again or for him again yeah i mean many times i'm like dude, why would i want to fight for a guy that is hating on me <laughs> right <laughs> like He's been doing it since I was a kid, though. Like, I don't understand this. I'm your biggest fighter, and, like, every chance he gets, he's like, Ryan sucks. <laughs> like, I'm looking out for him. But he has people that are whispering in his ear, oh, Oscar's bad, oh, go with this other promoter who will take care of you more, you'll make more money. All these whispers, man. All these whispers. Does it bum you out that the relationship has reached this point? It has. It's in this ambiance that the Duardo bout would be scheduled. It was fascinating theater. I've never seen anything like that. How big of a distraction was that on Fight Week? It wasn't a distraction at all. I w I'm not paying attention to dudes that are... This I'm, isn't dudes. This is your guy. This care. is your promoter. I, I couldn't tell him the difference between him and the next guy next door. If really? you're hating, you're hating. You really know? feel like that, that Oscar Roach, you would lose to Duarte? Of course. Ryan Garcia just got knocked out by a power puncher. And now he's facing a power puncher. I'm proud of him, man. Fighting, you feel so much emotion. Especially after you lose, you come back and you think everybody's your enemy. But then after you win, everything's great. You know, it's, bro, I've been there. Come on. How's your relationship with Oscar today? Way better. Really? Yeah. What happened? What changed? I said, I don't do this. Regardless of all the media or legal things, 
I love you. Let's figure it out. Everything's okay. Everything's great. It's a matter of just communicating with each other. Once, yeah. once we have one-on-one -on -one time together, everything's great. If somebody is going to Las Vegas right now, they can make a bet for a million dollars. Five years from now, Ryan's still going to be with Golden Boy Promotions. Is that a good bet? What did they say in court? I plead the fifth? <laughs> <laughs> Something like that.